My next guest is as well known in LA as anyone on the Walk of Fame. For 23 years, he worked at the legendary Dantana's restaurant, climbing up the ranks from server to general manager. Then 10 years ago, he took a chance and opened his own spot called Craig's, which I love. It's been a huge success. Let's get Craig Susser on the line right now. What's up, Craig? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm good, actually. I'm having a great day. So, woo! Um, oh, <laughs> I love your restaurant. Such great food. Um, the, the restaurant is kind of a celeb hotspot as well. Every time I, I've been there um, a few times, and every time I go there, there's so many people there. Do you ever get starstruck? Yeah, I do get starstruck. I mean, most of the time, I just try to keep it in and pretend like I'm not being starstruck. But every <laughs> once in a while, it, it does uh, it, it does escape. And I think, I think the only time that I actually dropped the mask was when I met Mick Jagger and I turned around and a four letter word came out of my mouth and uh, he just looked at me and said, mm, yeah, I get that all the time. That's awesome. <laughs> he's kind of used to it. I get that all the time. That's so rock and roll. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Well, I think you're allowed to with him. Um, so we're in the middle of our summer staycation celebration right now on the show. And I understand your chef has created a dish just for us yeah. for the occasion. So what, what I'll do is I think I'll walk back to the kitchen. We'll uh, introduce you to chef. We'll, uh, we'll make a, a really simple, easy summer staycation dish. Okay. You're actually walking through the kitchen right now. Yeah. And, uh, and here we are with Chef. Hi. All right, so we're gonna make a really easy chicken milanese with a beautiful peach and plum summer salad. That's got a really easy vinaigrette. So okay, I'm ready, let's make it. Chef's got a pounded out piece of chicken. And what we're going to do is we're going to dredge it. So we're going to put it in a little bit of flour. And what you want to do is just make sure it's coated and there's not too much flour. And then you're going to dip it in egg. You're oh gonna make how thin that is. Egg. And then you're going to dip it into panko flakes, Get right? It. A little breadcrumbs. Yes. Make sure that it's evenly coated really quick. There's not too much on there. And then we're just going to take a little olive oil. We're going to put it in a pan. Don't be afraid to let the pan get a little hot because you, right. you, want, you want to get some really good color on the chicken. And it's so thin that it, it cooks is. really quickly. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, that's making me hungry. You can see it's already browning a little bit. Yes. Really quickly. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cheat a little bit. And we're going to bring out one that he's already prepared. And well, magic and television. Yeah. And we'll create the salad that goes with it. And, and, and here's the thing about about creating good light summer dishes is you want to use light ingredients you want to use fresh ingredients we're going to make a quick vinaigrette out of olive oil and lime juice okay. the great thing is is that typically these dishes don't take too long so chef's got some arugula peaches we've got some plums yeah. we've got some uh, little baby tomatoes and we cut them in half We've yeah. got a little salt, a little pepper, and we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And a little bit of lime juice creates that freshness, brings out all the citrus flavors. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Okay. It's just a quick little toss. So, so far you've got seven ingredients. You've done it really, really quickly. And, and here's a little trick of the trade that you always want to do when you're done frying something is you always want to put it on a piece of paper to make sure that you're getting the excess oil off of it so that it's easy, quick, clean. It looks like a heart. That's why people come here. I mean, we've been really lucky. We've kept the entire crew on staff for the entire COVID shutdown. Oh, my gosh. Because not only do people come here for the food, but they come here to see their favorite people. And it's like a home. It's like coming home. And so chef is just put it on a plate. That's really awesome for your employees. Not everybody's, you know, been able to keep their job. That's awesome. And that's it. And and then you're you're ready to eat. Okay, we got the finished product, right? And then we got the salad you're pairing with. I actually happened. Somebody got me a dish. I got this dish prepared, and it's here for me, and I'm very excited about it. So there's that. But the great thing is, it's really easy to prepare. It's really something it. that the average home cook can can prepare. Oh my God, it's so good. Right? It's light, it's fresh, and it's easy. It's so good. That was like the perfect amount of crunch, too. Oh my gosh, I miss going to your restaurant. Okay. Um, 
Well, you also sent over a dessert. So what's that? Because I want to try that too. Hold on. Right. So a few years ago, because of our vegan clientele, we yeah. figured a full meal. So we created a vegan ice cream. Which flavor do you have there? I have the mint chip, the Melrose mint chip. Yeah. So we have mint chip, peanut butter, oh chocolate God. chip, vanilla, and strawberry. And people are buying them online. We're shipping them all over the country. And then we're in some of the local supermarkets here in LA and non-dairy and it's a third less sugar. Oh my and God. It's really, really good. And it tastes like ice cream. And it's a it tastes like mint chip. Oh my God. Well, thank you so much. The food is incredible. And really, the ice cream is a lifesaver at this point. So thank you, Craig. Thank you, Chef, for helping us out. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.